Hello guys. In this session, I will explain what is Azure Data Factory and how do we load data using Azure Data Factory. In this session, we need a, a SQL Server. We need to create a SQL Server and we need to create a storage account and store that our so, uh, source file into Blob Storage Service. And then we create a data factory and then we will load the data use into SQL Server using Azure Data Factory. Okay, so let's make sure we have a SQL Server Studio installed in our local mission. Okay, so let's check what is Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory, it's ETL2, it's more of an extract and load EL and TL platform rather than a traditional ETL platform. It extract and load and transform and load. Okay, so Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based data integration service that allows you to create data-driven workflows in the cloud that orchestrate and automate data movement and data transformation. So using Azure Data Factory, we can do the, we can do these tasks, create and schedule workflows and process our transformed data using different compute service such as Hadoop, Spark, Azure Data Lake and Azure Machine Learning. So more like a, a ETL2, so more of an extract and load and transform and load. So this is the workflow and how our data Azure factory works, connect and collect and transform and enrich and publish. Okay, let's connect to Azure portal and try to load a data from the source system into target. Let's uh, load data from a, a text file into SQL Server. Okay, let's log into Azure portal. Okay, I'm logging into Azure portal now. To load the data using Azure uh, Data Factory, we need to create SQL Server first, and then we need to create a storage account. Here, go to home and just look for SQL Server. Create a SQL Server. Let's create a resource group. I will give it, it is already in use. Let's give, let's give. Okay, so I give name test April 20 and location East US. And remember this uh, username and uh, password. We must need these credentials to log into SQL Server. Go to networking and let's keep everything default. Let's create the SQL Server. So while it is deploying, let's go to home and then look for the storage accounts. Go here, create one storage account. We already have resource group available. I give this storage account name data factory. Location is to US2. So I will just keep everything before access. Okay, let's just create this storage account. If the SQL server deployed or not, so 
both events in progress. Let's go to home and then check our resource groups. So both are still uh, still deploying. Okay, let's just give one or two minutes. Okay, both storage account and SQL server created. Let's just refresh our, res our resource group. It's not deployed, but let's give one minute. So meanwhile, if we have any, uh, I have a, a data file on my local machine. I will upload that uh, data file into a uh, blob container. So we make sure the source file is available when we try to load data using Azure Data Factory into SQL Server. Let's just refresh it. Okay, now the storage account is available. Let me create container. Container, Let's just give a container name, a data file. created container data file. So let me upload file from my local machine. So here is my data file. Now let's just open. So copy this. Let's see what data in is. So we have data here in this file. Okay, now Let's log into SQL Server and create a table. And then we will load the data into that table using Azure Data Factory. So I'm in SQL Server Management Studio, trying to connect to the server that we just created. This is the server we just uh, created using Azure Portal. And this is the username. Let me enter the password. And we connected to SQL Server. So let's just create one a database here. So I'm creating a database name recipes underscore database. Let's execute this database. Here you can see the progress. Execute inquiry. I just give one or two minutes. This session take a little long. Please stay with me. Okay, now database created. I just refresh here. Here you can see a recipes database is created. Now we need to create a table. Let's just create a table here. I'm creating I'm creating table name recipes. Oh, I just created this table recipes. Now we have table available here in the SQL server. Let's just refresh it and check the tables. See now we have a table available recipes so i just uh, insert a sample data here okay so now three rows inserted Now we just inserted this data. Now we can see it in the table. Now we have sample data available. We, we have table and data. 
Now we will insert a, a new data into this table using Azure Data Factory. Let's go back to Azure Portal and uh, create a data factory and then load the data. So now I'm, we're back at Azure Portal. Let's go to Home and use the search option. Just type data factories. So here we can see a data factory. Let's just create a new one, new data factory. So we need to give it a new name. This is a test. This is the, I'll just give this name test 11 April. Then I just, and we have a resource group available. Let's just keep everything in this resource group. And then location is to us. Let's create this data factory. It's deploying here, you can see it, all the deployments. Now we can see this deployment succeeded. Let's go to the data factory. This is the one which is created here. Here, let's just use this author and monitor. Now it's, it's loaded. Here we use a copy data. We have a data file that we just uploaded into a blob storage and we created SQL server and we created database and table. We just inserted some small data. Now we will insert more data using Azure Data Factory. We will load the data into SQL server table using Azure Data Factory. So to do that, let's pick this option, copy data. We need to give a name for this task, data factory test. Loading data into recipe table. Run once now. And then here, source. Where is our source located? So here, and file we need to create connection where is our source we need to create the connection okay we need to create a connection here so where do we have the uh, data file here in azure azure block storage yeah, just hit that and then just give some a description then connect and then account key then select all and then storage account name here you can see this is the storage account name we we this is the storage account name we just created in that resource group just pick this and then make sure here we can check if the testing connection is see here you can see connection successful let's just create this connection string okay. now this is successful now let's move to next then what is the file let's go here here this is the container we created and then this is the data file we want to load it in sql server table choose this file and then see that this is the file and then records okay let's create next and then here you can give you can edit all the settings if you want Okay, so let's check this connection file format. This is a text file we uploaded and then delimiter, comma delimiter, right? And then first row as header, right? Recipe ID, recipe name. This is the data we have in the source file. So everything looks good. Let's just create next and then destination. Then connect where we want to load. We want to load it in. SQL Server. Here, come here and then see Azure SQL Database. Continue and just loading data into specific table. Just give some description and then server name. This is the server we created and database name. 
a recipes database sql authentication we need to give our username the user then enter password just make sure test connection fail so here test connection fail and we have to check it so here connection fails so let's just check this one so here client id is not allowed to access the server so to enable access we need to so when we created sql server so we didn't want any other networks connect to this server so let's just uh, check that uh, setting so here is my resource group in azure portal so i will check it sql server connections let's just go to show firewall settings as here deny public network access so just click no and then allow azure services and resources to access this server yes now it's updating this server file rules okay let's go back to our data factory and then let's just check it one more time see now connection successful and make sure when you create your sql server you always uh enable this allow other azure services can connect to this server it's up to you if you don't want any server you can just pick it uh you can uh, just say no but here we just want to keep it yes and now our connection is successful let's just create this okay now we have a source available azure blob storage where our text file and we have a target system azure sql database okay let's just move to next if you want recipes okay source blob storage destination recipes table let's just go next now you can see that you are running pipeline to copy data from azure blob storage to azure sql database here you can see that validate copy runtime and creating data set pipeline everything is successful now here we can check it monitor if you want monitor you can do that so here you see that x succeeded okay so this connection in this uh, etl workflow is succeeded let's go back to our table and then make sure data is loaded into the table so we are back at this sql server management studio we just loaded the data using data factory let's check if the data is available in this table see now the data is available See now we have a cinnamon roll and five chocolate bars, six rice balls. That data is loaded successfully. This is how this is how we load data into the destination using Azure Data Factory. So this is good session. If you guys have any questions, you can reach me out my email learning path solutions 2020 at outlook.com. So uh, I will I will always available on my email. You can you can shoot all your questions. Okay. This is how we load data using data factory. Thank you guys. Thank you.